mortgage industry. You are the hundreds of thousands and thousands of fans that line up around F1 as it goes all across the country. The tracks are difficult. And the best way to understand how to go to those tracks, which is what Verstappen has done, what Hamilton's done, Leclerc, and Pabarkas. That's right, Nick Pabarkas. There's not too many times where one person in this industry can say, do you remember that time 25 years ago? Well, we had the opportunity for me to go back in time 25 years back into the days where you need to be, boom, just have a hot breath and make a lone stick. Nick knew if he was going to be racing at the speeds on a track that went through countrywide, went through Stearns for 10 years, the TPO channel where brokers by the thousands relied on his advice and his technology and his insight, then to go on to Lone Depot, as we all know, the success they had in that space. And now with Logan Financial and understanding, as you hear on this show, why every loan officer needs to understand the Monaco right now of racetracks is non-QM. Non-QM has hundreds of basis points going back because the demand is there. He talked about the securitization and the demand. And in this industry, if there is demand there on Wall Street and you as a loan officer know how to bring that demand to your area, you are going to be able to beat out in price in credit boxes, in exceptions, and how to understand to deliver everything I just told you. What is different today versus what we used to have was the transparency of pricing in the non-QM world. Back 25 years ago, there were originators actually doing loans where the entire company would make between 12 to 16 points on every single subprime mortgage loan. Not the case in the non-QM space today. However, there are more fees to be earned because they are profitable. And when you're talking to an investor that is in real estate and they say, well, I don't want to pay the fee or I don't want to pay that interest rate. Remember, it is not what you pay. It is always what you keep. And if you have an opportunity to actually do the research, you'll find that with Logan Finance, they have an AI portal. Why? Because that AI portal reads your bank statements so you don't have to go through an entire stack of bank statements of trying to figure out how much in deposits, the, the bounce checks from the tenants and all the all the extraordinary deposits or withdrawals that cause you to ruin a mortgage loan. Hi, I'm Nick Barkas with Logan Finance. Uh, I'd like to thank Mike and Mike for having me on. Uh, you know, it was, a, it was a great session to go ahead and speak to originators about the opportunities for non-QM lending out in the market. Um, I think that there is so much underserved around the self-employed and the gig income uh, community that's going to continue to grow. And uh, if you have those borrowers out there, uh, please don't hesitate to reach out on a Logan Finance or any of the non-QM providers out there. As this product grows in the marketplace and becomes more commoditized, I think you're going to just continue to see it uh, to see it be a prevalent source of, of opportunity for originators in the market. We go ahead and touch a lot on a loan officer at education, whether that be with uh, with Logan Finance on our product lines or industry education, whether it be with the California Mortgage Bankers Association or with the National MBA, uh, please don't hesitate to reach out for those opportunities as well. No matter what, you can't slow down when you're on this track. Boom, boom. Start your engines.